Hello children of class 6. Welcome again in our e-learning class. Now today we will start the chapter words. You take out page number 43 of your English grammar book. We will study words. This word, verb, it is the most important word in English grammar. Because without verb, no sentence can exist. We cannot frame any sentence without verb. So verb is the most important part of speech in English grammar. There are eight parts of speech and verb is the most important part of speech. Let's study. Read the following sentences carefully. Harry Potter is an orphan. He has a magical club. He was speaking with Mr. Dumbledore when he was called by his friends. They played soccer. Soccer meaning, meaning you know football. In the above sentence A, the word is tells us the state of being of the subject Harry Potter. That is an often. Here is. It is verb but it is not an action word. It is showing the state of being. That means what he is. He is an orphan. In sentence B, the word has is used to indicate something that the subject possesses. That is a magical cloak. Here also you can see that has. This is a verb but this is not an action word. It is showing ownership. It is showing that what the subject is having. What he possesses. Achha, then in sentence C and D, the words are speak in the words was speaking, was called and played, express actions done by Harry Potter and his friends. The words printed in bold above is, has, was speaking, was called, played are called verbs. But for uh, sentences C and D, we can find was speaking, action, was called, action, played, action. So, a verb is a word, you underline this one. A verb is a word that is used to denote an action, the condition of the subject or what is possessed by the subject. So, only doing words are known as verbs. This definition we used to say, we used to learn. No. The complete definition of verb is like that. A verb is a word that is used to denote an action. The condition of the subject, that means this is, was, all this, and what is possessed by the subject, like has, have, had. No sentence can be formed without a verb. A verb may consist of one word, more than one word, maybe two, three, or four words. So, a verb, <coughs> a verb, uh, sorry, no sentence can be formed without a verb. A verb may consist of one word, more than one word, maybe two, three or four words. Like, Joha studied in the night. One word we can find studied. She is a hardworking girl, is again one word. She reads storybooks wherever, sorry, whenever she is free. Here we can find two words, but both are single word okay sana likes donuts here also single word word gagan is cleaning the house two words for verbs is cleaning the boys are waiting in the laboratory so here also two words we can find which are used as verbs together are and waiting so exercise number a children you will complete sitting at home and in our next class, we will discuss the answer. But before that, let us come to object of a verb. This part we can study today, I hope. Read the given sentences carefully. Neha kept the money carefully. Kept what? Indicates the money. The little boy is flying a kite. Is flying what? Indicates a kite. Stephen. Stephen King writes novels. Uh, writes what? Indicates novels. The teacher praised the children. Praised what? Indicates the children. 
So if we ask what or whom after the verb, the answer we get is the object of the verb. This shows that the action in such sentences passes on smoothly to something which we call the object of the verb. In the above examples, Kate is flying and writes our words. They took money, a kite and novels as objects. So whenever you will ask the questions like what and whom to the verb and if you get any word that, that means if you get any noun there that noun is actually acting as the object of the verb. So children in our next class we will proceed with the next part that is the kinds of words we will read. Still then bye.